Hi everyone and welcome to our next short talk today from Riverlane. We have Ophelia Crawford. Ophelia joined Riverlane three years ago and is part of the quantum science team. There she works on algorithms for quantum computers, particularly in the context of computational chemistry. Ophelia is a computational and theoretical physicist by background and completed a PhD in geophysics, during which she gained expertise in numerical algorithms. Geophysics, very interesting. <laughs> Looking forward to your talk. Thanks, Ophelia. Um, thank you very much. And yeah, thank you very much for having me. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to, over the next sort of 10 minutes or so, give you a bit of an introduction to um, River Lane, um, who we are, what we do, um, and a bit of information about um, about working here. Um, so yes, um, I joined the company about three years ago, and I, um, I'm a physicist by background, but I actually, until I joined the company, had... Um, very little quantum computing experience. I was a geophysicist. Um, and so that's one of the really nice things about River Lane is we have people from sort of all sorts of different backgrounds um, working here. Uh, let's see if I can find the next, ah, great. Um, yeah, so as a, as a one sentence summary, um, River Lane develops software for quantum computers. Um, we are a team of currently 35 people, but are expanding quite rapidly. So, um, probably gonna be about 60 by the end of the year. Um, and we've also expanded quite rapidly before this time. So when I joined three years ago, we were pretty much just four people. Um, we are based in Cambridge in the UK, uh, right in the city center of, of what's a very nice city. Um, in case you don't know where came, um, anything about Cambridge. So it's about an hour from, from London in, in the south of England. Um, and it's a very, um, it has quite a lot of tech based companies and quite a lot of startups, um, which provides quite a nice environment um, for doing tech work. So this is um, our most recent team picture here. Um, it was actually taken about 18 months ago. Um, we're hoping we might be able to take another one this summer um, that's a bit more up to date. Um, but just to highlight that, yeah, we do come from quite a range of backgrounds. So on the technological side, um, we have people, we have mathematicians, we have computer scientists, we have chemists, physicists, engineers, um, some of whom have quantum computing um, backgrounds, um, yeah, experience in various different aspects of that. But some like me come in um, with very little. Um, and we're also quite varied in other ways. So um, yeah, we are, the whole team is 38% women, and in fact, um, three out of the five members of senior management are women. Um, and we also um, have people coming from kind of all over the world. Um, so yeah, more than a third of us um, are from outside the UK originally. So I'll now tell you a little bit about um, the, what quantum computing at River Lane means. Um, so firstly, as I said, we do develop software for quantum computers. The other side of the, of the quantum computing coin would of course be hardware, the, the actual quantum computers themselves. Um, and quantum computers, whilst um, overall they can kind of be, you can, they can kind of be thought to behave um, in similar ways. There are actually lots of different ways of realizing these quantum computers, um, some of which are listed here. Um, and just as an example, as a picture of a quantum computer, this is um, a company called Oxford Quantum Circuits, who are also based in the UK. They're superconducting computer. Um, and you may know that quantum computers aren't yet capable of performing sort of large um, calculations that, that classical computers can't, but they are um, rapidly uh, getting more and more capable um, as time passes. And so that brings me to um, what River Lane do, and we see um, our role in developing software for quantum computers um, to have two parts. So the first part of our mission is to build um, an operating system for a quantum computer. Um, and the second part is to develop algorithms and think about applications um, for calculations that could be run on quantum computers. So turning to um, this first, the first aspect of that, so the operating system, we're developing um, something which we call Delta Flow, which is exactly this, an operating system um, for quantum computers. And the idea is 
Um, it provides access to different levels of the hardware stack to try and increase performance. So this schematic diagram on the left shows kind of the different levels of hardware involved in running a quantum computer. At the very bottom, you have the qubits, which are the, the physical or yeah, how you store the data on the quantum computer. At the very top, you'll typically have like an ordinary classical computer. And then you have um, intermediate layers of um, say FPGAs um, that can perform different, different parts of calculations. And um, it's important in order to increase performance to kind of distribute the way you do calculations in the best way possible. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about Delta Flow, um, we do actually have a video on our YouTube channel that um, one of our interns who worked with us last summer um, put together explaining some of the aspects of Delta Flow. As part of um, Delta Flow, we have a grant with um, lots of the UK quantum computing hardware companies um, who uh, span many of the different technologies I showed you on the previous slide. Um, and so we're kind of working together um, to try to build this operating system. The other aspect of what we do is, um, as I said, applications. Um, so working on science within quantum computing. And this is the part of the company, the kind of work that I look at doing. The main application we consider is computational chemistry calculations. So um, looking at things like finding ground state energy of a molecular system using a quantum computer. Um, this is just kind of a schematic illustration of the kinds of things we think about. So firstly, given a molecule, here's a very simple molecule, just a hydrogen molecule with two hydrogen atoms. Um, a typical problem we're interested in in computational chemistry is finding the ground state energy of, of that molecule, which involves thinking about um, the, the ground state electron configuration which is kind of schematically in, um, illustrated down here. Um, and once we're able to, uh, if we're able to calculate things like um, energies of that system, we can then um, look at producing plots like this on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, th thinking about these computational chemistry calculations and how we might be able to use quantum computers to do them um, is one of the, the main aspects of what we do and the side of things I work on. So that was a very quick overview of the types of the types of technical work um, we do at River Lane. And so I just want to finish um, by saying a little bit more about um, what working at River Lane is like. Um, so firstly, we have a, a, a number of benefits available to staff. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but one um, that, that might be of relevance, particularly if people live live far away, is we do offer um, relocation assistance. Um, and in terms of what working at River Lane is like, uh, this, this quote up here, I think sums it up quite nicely. So um, we, you know, there is fundamental physics involved in what we do, um, which means we are at the edge of kind of performing um, actual research, but also because we're in a company and we're kind of driving forward, trying to drive forward um, to solve technological challenges, um, that kind of pushes us forward. Um, and we're also, uh, there's a, a nice balance between being able to kind of work by yourself and figure out like your own problems, but also we're really very collaborative. Um, so all of the work we do is done in teams, um, trying to kind of work together um, to, to solve problems. If any of this does sound um, interesting to you, we do have some vacancies currently um, on our website uh, that, yeah, you can apply for. Um, so the technical ones here are mostly on the Delta Flow side, so looking at um, developing our operating system. Um, we also have some other roles, so project marketing manager and a scientific writer. Um, our roles that are advertised are also changing all the time. So um, a few weeks ago, we were advertising more for roles um, on the application side of things. Um, and we're also always interested to hear from um, software engineers, field application engineers, and delivery managers. And if you do have any questions about these roles, 
um, yeah, please contact this email here. There's also details about that on the website. The other opportunity we offer is we do have an internship scheme. Um, this has closed for this year, um, but will open again after Christmas um, for doing internships in the summer of 2022. This, um, I don't exactly know how it will run next year, but I can, um, as an indication, tell you how it worked this year. So we had two main schemes, um, a kind of general scheme aimed at all students, so undergraduate, masters and PhD students. And there we weren't necessarily looking for detailed um, quantum computing, um, previous experience, just kind of knowledge or yeah, general um, kind of technical background um, and interest in the field. So yeah, that, that will open after Christmas for potentially doing internships in the summer. And we also offered a scheme aimed um, at PhD students who perhaps do have some um, experience in quantum computing, targeting kind of specific projects and specific backgrounds. And if you'd like to um, learn more about our internship schemes, we do have a few blog posts um, on those where you can read about um, our past interns experiences. And so that's all from me um, on a whistle stop tour of River Lane. So, um, you can find all our vacancies on our website. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to email us. I'd be very happy to answer any questions now. Um, and also several of my colleagues are going to be um, on the, have, have a booth. Um, so you can talk to people both on the HR side and we also have some people on the technical side there to answer any questions you might have. Thanks. Thank you very much, Ophelia. Really, really like. Uh, I, I like that you go through the, the history of, um, of your career, the company, and then the benefits, uh, very highlighting what are the benefits of working at River Lane and what are the, the positions open. I think it answers a lot of questions that probably people have. Um, I'm going to ask you two questions. Uh, one is uh, from uh, Raghavendra. Uh, he or she said, I'm, I have eight years research experience in computational chemistry calculations with DFT and quantum molecular dynamics. Um, can I apply? I think I know the answer, but I let you. <laughs> we absolutely do have um, people from those backgrounds um, that, yeah, that, that really is very useful for us. Um, we ha we're not currently hiring for those kind of positions. Um, but yeah, I'd suggest either sending someone an email to, to ask, if, if that's the kind of thing we might be hiring for again um, in the future, or, or also drop by um, the booth um, at the, yeah, our, our booth. So yes, we absolutely, that, that kind of background, we do have people um, with computational chemistry backgrounds, that's obviously very useful to us um, in, in general. Yeah, we just don't currently have any roles advertised um, on that. There is a very interesting question from uh, Arush Ahmed. Any plans for women who are looking for returning to her, to her, their careers? I would absolutely say we're, of course, um, a, a, yeah, but very, very open to that. Um, yeah, I, I'd particularly encourage you to, to go along to the booth to chat chat to people um, on the HR side about that. Um, yeah, of, of course, I, uh, yeah, yeah I, I'd encourage you to go and chat to them. Perfect. So thanks again, Ophelia. Um, yeah, so don't miss the, the opportunity to go and visit the River Lane booth. Um, and I see you now in the next talk. Uh, see you soon, Ophelia. Thanks. Thank you.